Hi, I'm your host, Mark Aaron, and welcome to In Focus by U Multicultural, where we focus on civic issues here in Winnipeg. In today's episode, we'll be talking to a former high school student on her experience with COVID-19 and how it changed her education. With me right now is Zoline Bonnie. Zoline, how are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. So can you give us a brief description about yourself? I am a first year college student um, and I just graduated from high school last year. I am currently attending Humber College, which is based um, out of Toronto and I'm taking film production. So when COVID-19 first hit as a young, like uh, about to graduate student, uh, what was going through your mind? Uh, I think at first, since no one really knew kind of like what what it was, since it was just like new and a new thing that no one really knew about, uh, I think the first thing was everyone thought, oh, we just have a three week break and then be back at school. And we thought, you know, it'd be it'd be done by then. Um, and then it ended up being more than that, obviously. And we didn't end up going back to school after um, the quarantine first started. So I think right at the beginning, no one really thought that, you know, <laughs> up till now it would still be um, happening. And, you know, at first we didn't think, you know, we still have we'd still have our grad. We still. You know, I'd still be going out to school in Toronto, and I, I think I, I thought that you know that would still be happening, but of course it didn't. Um, but yeah, just at the start of the pandemic, no one really knew how it was gonna go. So, were you upset that you didn't get like the full last year of a high school experience, like like an actual grad with every one of your friends and uh, like a graduation, like dinner and dance? Yeah, I feel like me, not, it's not just me, but I feel like most people have like felt this way last year. Um, it was kind of disappointing because, you know, you go to school and you're like throughout your whole school years, you're just like, okay, at the end we have like this final grad and we're done and we have like a celebration. You kind of look forward to that, especially in your grade 12 year. Um, so it kind of, it, it, it kind of sucked that we didn't get to have that kind of experience. Um, my school did do a small um, a small ceremony just in like their interior courtyard. So it was all outside, but it was completely different. Um, we had a hundred people in our grade 12 class and they separated everyone into groups of 25. So we didn't all get to graduate together. Um, but we did have a little one and when it was one family at a time. So it was just one, one person at a time would go up and like have the family and then go through. So it was, it was a very different experience. It wasn't like the whole graduation type thing. Um, and missing out on the banquet was kind of a disappointment because um me and everyone else like um we had a lot of grad dresses already because yeah. it was um many had bought them you know earlier in the year like in fall of 2019 already so by then we all had them and <laughs> no one really got to wear them except for like pictures so it was kind of that was kind of like a disappointment there and just not having something to like finish off your high school experience was kind of it was kind of disappointing, but the school also did, um, they organized a, like a, a car parade as well. So that was pretty fun in itself. Like, you know, mm -hmm. they, they didn't do that before COVID obviously. Yeah. Um, so they just came out with something new and, um, they also did like grad signs as well. They had never done that before. So I feel like they kind of tried to give us that final, final like, experience. Like that experience, but it's not like the same as like saying like a graduation banquet. Yeah, exactly. It wasn't the same, but of course, like because of COVID, I, I understand that, you know, they did what they could at the moment, mm -hmm. but it's just kind of disappointing <laughs> in and of itself, just that, you know, we were the ones that were got that got hit with it. And I feel like I think those that are graduating this year, I don't know if they'll be able to like mm -hmm. celebrate as well, but at least, you know, they could see it coming somewhat, you know, yeah. it was just COVID. We heard about it like November 2019 but we didn't know it would start like spreading and then by march of 2020 it was just this full-blown yeah. thing so yeah i feel like no one really saw it coming so that was kind of like that was a little bit more stressful i guess but i think this year like as much as i think people are just trying to do what they can with what they have and speaking of covid you are attending in toronto school but you're not getting that full experience of going by yourself and then actually learning school so how does that make you feel um i feel like because i am taking like because i'm taking film production so mm -hmm. there um there's a like a component of the course that's hands-on but there's also a lot of theory stuff because it's like a bachelor degree so it's not like completely hands-on but i'm still i still feel like i'm missing the hands-on component of it mm -hmm. um 
So this year we've only done like projects at our home and it's kind of hard to collaborate because <laughs> filming something and then trying to like edit it with someone who lives like somewhere else. It's very, mm -hmm. it's it, like there's people um, like most of them are in like the Toronto area or just around right. Toronto, but uh, some are halfway across the world and like the time zones especially i feel like it's very hard to collaborate yeah. um that's one thing um and just trying to work on projects because like i personally don't have a camera to shoot with so i just i've been using my phone which um it kind of sucks that way and um because normally when you have in-person courses you can use all their equipment they have like mm -hmm. all these like you know all the software to use and everything mm -hmm. um so i'm kind of missing out on that part um i'm hopeful hopefully mm -hmm. that you know, we can go, or I can go out there, um, like this upcoming year for my second year. Um, but yeah, I just feel like I'm missing that really hands-on stuff. And they're trying to like, you know, trying to give us things that we can do to sort of supplement that. Uh, mm -hmm. but as much as they, as much as you can, you still, we're still completing projects and still doing things, but I feel like it's not exactly the same when you don't have all the equipment, um, that you can, use like lighting and sound and camera um so i kind of feel like i'm missing out on that mm. a little bit um so yeah it's just been sort of adapting to how how are you gonna mm. how are we gonna like learn stuff while still being at, at home and not actually mm. being able to go into class and collaborate with others yeah so if COVID 19 doesn't line up like let's say the next year are you planning to stay in the toronto school or are you planning to go let's say stay here in winnipeg to learn more about production I will definitely be staying um, with like the school out in Toronto, just because the only reason I am actually out um, at a school in Toronto is um, here in Winnipeg. They don't have any hands like much hands on of like a film production course. They have they have a lot of like small video production programs and they also have like film studies courses but i talk i talked to so many people and got their opinions about going to school here or not and everyone recommended going either out to bc or um, toronto or even alberta they also have some programs there mm -hmm. um so I, that's why i decided to go out to toronto um and as much as i don't enjoy doing everything <laughs> you know just at home and everything um i feel like eventually hopefully sometime in the next four years that i'll get out there and i'd be mm -hmm. actually to participate in the program in person um because they are doing right now they're doing one of the courses that i'm taking out of the five courses in each semester um it is in person but they only do like every three four weeks they do one in in person mm -hmm. course so it's not that much and i feel i felt it wasn't worth it to go out there mm -hmm. um and like i want to save money and not go there just for one course so yeah. that's what i just did this year um but i'm hoping that um yeah in the next <laughs> i'm hoping this upcoming like fall term that i'll be able to actually go out there and do that it's just i would i would definitely if there was a course here in winnipeg that um was a film production course i would have definitely just stayed here and just done it here um and just kind of not have to move out somewhere but um just because there is no option i just thought moving out of the city would be the better choice for me so definitely even if covid's still happening i would definitely still be staying at humber college in toronto and before i let you go do you have any final words for the students that are graduating this year because you kind of had that experience of grad missing graduation and like the school experience before you graduated high school mm -hmm. um i think i would say just you know just kind of expect the worst to happen because last year we did not like me included Including, including me did not think that we'd end the school year and not have any you know like have like a regular mm -hmm. type of graduation but um they still like you know like this like at least my school they kind of like you know they did the same they did something they did at least something mm -hmm. um but i would just say you know it's not the end of the world um it is like you know it's it, you, you're kind of missing out on a part of your, of your life but like now even though i kind of missed out on it i kind of you know I, it's not like I keep thinking about it and I feel like I I missed a, something huge. Um, now I've kind of moved on and I feel like everyone else has moved on as well. So even if they don't get um, even if they don't get a celebration like every other year um, besides that last year, COVID year, <laughs> um, that 
it's still, you know, you're still finishing high school. It's still an accomplishment. You can celebrate. There's a lot of ways to celebrate on your own um, over Zoom. I know a lot of <laughs> a lot mm. of us are tired of Zoom, but um, yeah, celebrate over Zoom. Celebrate with family and friends over Zoom, or if you can do outdoor gatherings by then. I don't like honestly, like hopefully by then you'll be able to do something besides <laughs> mm. besides just Zoom calls. Um, but yeah, just it's not the end of the world, um, even though it sucks and it feels like it sucks. Um, you know, we all went through it last year. Um, so you're not, you know, the, other, the upcoming graduates aren't going to be the only ones who are going through it that we've already gone through. And, you know, we're 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 it's not the end of the world for us. We're still here. We're still moving on. So, um, yeah, so just it's, it's yeah, just keep 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 trying to like, I don't know, feel like, yeah it's not the end of the world and yeah <laughs> i don't know what else to say about that that's all i got that's all i have that's all the advice i have to give <laughs> yeah. all right thank you so much for your time zeline okay thank you so much mark for having me yeah well that's it for today's episode of in focus by multicultural i'm your host mark Aaron. and special thank you to zeline bonnie for her time hope you stay safe and have a nice day